Hi everyone, I'm Mike Mercurio and I'm a principal with the law firm off at Kerman. Today I have the pleasure of sitting down with my friend Denise O'Neill. Denise is president of the Alternative Board, also known as TAB. Where do you think you got your entrepreneurial spirit? I know you're very entrepreneurial. Yeah, I think entrepreneurial spirit comes kind of from within. Okay. And since I was a young kid growing up in the Poconos, we lived across the street from a lake. There were tons of blueberry bushes. And okay. as a kid, we all picked blueberries, went door to door and sold those blueberries. So that was a, an early entrepreneurial experience. Um, and then because I belonged to all those clubs, I was forever selling candy bars, right. cookies, you right. know, whatever I had the flog and you know typically one you know kind of top salesperson for those things so so i think you know being an entrepreneur running your own business um evolved into running other people's businesses and then as i got older swing back to me again to starting um sos which is the survivors offering support mm -hmm. organization that i basically birthed after um Mm -hmm. having breast cancer yeah. in 2003 yeah. and founded that as my own organization which grew to 300 volunteers and uh, being expanded into 18 hospitals in yeah. the Maryland DC Northern Virginia area. What would you tell a new entrepreneur? What, what piece of advice would you tell a new entrepreneur as to you know, how they could be successful or yeah. what they should be aware of? Yeah. Well, I think that every entrepreneur should find out what is their personal vision. Like yeah. what really drives them? What would make them happy? Mm -hmm. And then I would say get all the skills that you possibly can, get mm -hmm. all the learnings that you possibly can to to drive toward that success. Mm -hmm. And I, I would say listen to your peers, but also follow your heart. And I think you have to be myopic. I think mm -hmm. if you want to be successful, you have to have a very clear vision and define that for yourself. What is it that you want to do? Mm. How do you want to use that entrepreneurial spirit? Mm. Try not to get sidetracked with two or three or five different ideas, but really focus on the one that drives you and, and will give you the best rewards, both intrinsic yeah. as well as value. Yeah. So where, where do you see yourself in 10 years? I would see myself in 10 years growing our tab yeah. uh, company. Okay. I would see us adding probably two more boards, okay. but really adding deep services to provide our mid and small size markets with that suite of services we talked about before. So I'd like to see us do that. Um, and I'd like to see us become the premier peer executive advisory board. Right. Um, the other piece is I'd like to see SOS um, you know, develop even stronger relationships with the hospitals they're in. For example, in many of the hospitals we sit on their uh, corporate advisory boards. Um, and then I'd like to also expand SOS outside of the Mid-Atlantic Territory.